Hi guys. Okay, so it's like not even the same day. I'm still going to try to put these two videos together. I know it seems ridiculous that I can't do that, but I'm going to try. So if I'm able to do that, welcome back. <laughs> um, or, you know, anyways. Um, okay, so where we kind of left off, I had been doing just some kind of simple collaging on um, some tags. And I haven't done anything with these since I saw you guys. Well, this one, I guess I had done before. So, um, but these are the ones that I had worked on. Um, actually, it was yesterday. So, I did get a good sleep. And so, uh, in between then and now. Um, so, what I've been doing today since, you know, I was trying to trying to kind of get myself warmed up um, is I just started doing some larger pieces that I can um, I can cut down into smaller pieces for you know different types of um, different types of projects or not not projects but uses like tags pockets um, that kind of thing so I've been actually quite productive um, these are the only two that I did any uh, washi tape on so far and I've not added any fabric scraps or anything onto onto these these are just paper and most of them well some are done on um, book pages that are glued together so I use like some of my larger books and uh, you know depending on the thickness of the paper glue a couple of sh uh, pages together and uh, and use those um, you know depending on how thick you want those and then some are this is why I'm on music paper and then some are actually done on uh, these dividers so it's just like kind of like a heavy um, divider paper you know so it would be in the filing cabinet like that um, and I love the color of that paper and it's really smooth and I don't know I just like the texture of it too so um so I've just done some paper collaging on on some of those okay so I thought maybe I would do a couple more of those and um, you know I don't know I, I thought I could I could potentially do glue some of these together and use them as like a base but you know I, I don't know I'm not feeling that at the moment um oh yeah so these are just a couple more that I've done on uh, book paper book pages so I thought I would you know maybe um make a couple more bases out of this book because I like it and uh so I try to make sure that I glue all the way to the edges when I do this because I never know what size I'm going to be cutting this into, you know, and I don't want, you know, part of them, part of it coming apart. So, so yeah, I just try to make sure I do the entire page pretty well so I there's two now I think I'm gonna wind up having to do four pages with this because this paper is it's pretty thin um, I don't know I just think it's a good way to use up book paper too you know this is actually really cute I'm kind of regretting this now but this paper that's okay this is some kind of uh, encyclopedia I think so yeah one more and also I try you know I'm trying to get really good coverage because I don't want bubbles on the inside uh, layers I want it to be really stuck down 
All right. And this will definitely, um, so I've got three layers of glue in there now. So this will definitely uh, stiffen up as it dries. Um, and then, you know, I'm going to be adding more paper to it too. So, I mean, it's pretty flexible right now, but yeah, it'll definitely, uh, it'll definitely stiffen up. So let's do one more. One more. So how's everybody doing? Hope you guys are doing okay. It's working on being springtime here in Spokane. Um, can't wait until we can open the swimming pool. It's going to be so nice. Got me a new bathing suit and everything. <laughs> uh. <clears throat> yeah, we just have like a um, pretty large above ground pool. Um, it's one of those kind that you, you know, you don't, you don't drain it or anything over the winter. It just like the top, however, however hard it freezes, there's, you know, a top layer of ice, but the center of the pool, it generally doesn't freeze. It's kind of interesting. Um, one year something happened where <clears throat> it I don't know it was frozen we had a pretty good freeze and then uh, for a couple weeks and then it, the weather started changing and it got really warm and then it got really cold again and so the like ice wall that's around the perimeter of the pool kind of started to break up a little bit and um yeah, and then like it refroze and then it warmed up again and it actually wound up ripping a hole in the liner of the pool. But actually it wasn't just a hole. It was like a gigantic tear. And <laughs> I don't know how many gallons of water that thing holds, but uh, it's right in the backyard and it's sort of up on a slope just a tiny bit from the house. Anyways, that thing burst and like completely flooded the garage and the downstairs so we wound up putting tile on the floor down here and uh, it's actually pretty cool it's this, this really neat red tile okay so I mean yeah and see it's already starting to stiffen a little bit just you know from a couple minutes of of letting it set so um, you know, as usual, I'm just gonna add a layer of paper on here. Um, I'm not too worried. Where's that? One of my hairs in there. I'm not too worried about the back of it at this point. You know, I mean, I might add some... Well, I'm going to do some other stuff on these, so I'll show you guys here in just a minute. Let's get these done. And I try to keep my edges when I'm putting this layer on. Um, I try to keep my internal like edges torn. I don't really like to have straight edges. I don't know. I do sometimes, like... I don't know. Sometimes. Depends on the paper. Um, yeah, and so basically I'm just trying to add some different textures, different types of um, fonts and color 
you know. But still in that kind of neutral, like, um, vintage-y paper sort of theme, right? <clears throat> So I'm going to add this one in the center. There's that hair. Um, need a new baby wipe. And then, yeah, I think I'll just stick with paper for now. book paper so like this one I don't necessarily mind because this edge is kind of jaggedy so um, and I basically wound up with all of the text um, going the same direction on this one a lot of times I try to vary that and have some of my text going you know this way some going that way Never really upside down, because that would just bug me. Whoops, that's two pages. Yeah. Yep, yep, yep. Yeah, this is really thin paper. This is from a super old book. Okay, so there's that one. Um, actually, I think I'm going to just add a little piece right there. Okay. a little bit of bubbling in there but it should it should flatten out okay <coughs> excuse me all right let's do one more and this one I'm gonna turn sideways just to kind of force myself to change it up dictionary I was thinking about doing some uh, page packs some book page packs in my shop of just dictionaries all dictionary pages um, you know different languages but also um, just different types of dictionaries, different sizes, and that kind of thing. So, what do you guys think about that? So, I'm kind of limiting myself to what I have on my desk at the moment. Trying not to uh, pull out any new pages from my drawer. I actually have a couple of drawers over here on my right hand side now where I just have book pages and stuff that I can pull from as I'm going. So this is a math book. This is an old math book. And I like those, um, those holes in the page. So I'll add that right there. Actually, I'm going to put it right here. No, I'm going to put it right there. <laughs> Let's see. Oh, I pulled out a couple pages from my uh, uh, aircraft maintenance book. I'm going to ink 
this one. I'm still doing everything going the same direction. Oh well. So then after, after I get this kind of finished, I'm going to do some other stuff on these. Mm. Yeah, like that. There we go. All right, and there's still little pieces of the original um, background sticking out, but that's okay, because I'm gonna add like some tape and some other stuff to these. Um, okay, where's that first one? These are still pretty wet, but that's, you know, I'll just let them sit over there for a little while. So let's pull out a couple other ones that I did earlier today. So these are pretty dry um, and you know it's a nice weight. It's a nice thickness for lots of stuff. So I kind of just so I wasn't sitting here you know digging for stuff I pulled out some uh, some scraps that I wanted to maybe have out as options for the second kind of phase here. So I just want to add some other papers on this and just sort of add some texture here and there. This is from a um, Wait, is this upside down? Oh, this one I did that way, so let's see. Um, this is from just an old, uh, some kind of, like, hand, handmade book. Um, but it's really neat paper. It's almost like, it's kind of like that straw paper that, um, that I've gotten from Rachel, uh, I know, I talk about Rachel all the time, but I tell you what, I love Rachel's shop. I love Rachel, and she talks about me too, so. <laughs> Anyways, um, and I seriously have tried to find this paper at, you know, it, uh, I mean, it's just expensive to ship it from, from Italy, so, you know, I've tried to find it from other sources, but it's just not, it's not popping up. Um, and then I want to add some scraps out of maybe one of these, um, these autograph books. I have a couple of, uh, old autograph books that that would be fun. And they're really cool because the um, the ink has kind of run on them. Like they got wet or something, you know. So like the ink has kind of bled out onto other, other pages. And it's like that throughout the whole book. I got three of them and all of them are like that. It's kind of fun. Okay, so I'm just adding some other little interesting pieces. And this is going to be getting, you know, cut up into smaller pieces. So, um, you know, I'm trying to kind of spread out, um, what I'm doing, you know, but not being too like 
particular about where I'm putting things because, you know, it's, it's all gonna, things are gonna change. So I like to use like a, um, this is pattern tissue and it's kind of fun to cover other things with it because obviously it shows through but the texture is neat and I like how it just kind of changes the color a little bit um, okay and then let's see let's get some washi on here want to um, so this is one of my new washi tapes from uh, Washi Wednesday. Super pretty. So I always glue washi tape down. I know I've had people tell me that um, that their washi tape is really good and that kind of thing, and uh, that it sticks pretty well but um it's just a habit I guess <laughs> I really don't want it coming up so just sort of um you know not being too meticulous about where I'm putting things but this is one of those uh William Morris designs super pretty and I like these wider tapes because you can rip them however and get sort of like raw edges you know um, let's see, let's add a, a bird or two here and there. I'm going to grab some, um, uh, masking tape too. move kind of quickly I guess when I'm when I'm doing this because I feel like it sort of prevents me from overthinking you know because um, I do want these to be relatively loose you know I don't want them to look composed too much okay so there's there's that. So just kind of added another layer of interest sort of all over. Um, okay, let's do another one. Here's one where all the papers are a little bit, not so much text. There's some, well, this one is kind of, I don't know, I guess I added some other types of paper into it, but um, different sizes of font and some handwriting and that kind of stuff. So, but I haven't really added any tape to it. And I definitely want to do that. So, I like the idea of using masking tape because, I don't know, I think it just makes it feel... <laughs> look at that, there's like a fingerprint of ink right there. Um, makes it seem more kind of like industrial or something. I don't know. And I like the contrast. 
of, um, you know, using like flowers and butterflies and birds and things like that with something somewhat industrial like masking tape. And then I also found, I had put these away somewhere, and I don't know, I've been cleaning a lot lately. And so these are, um, I used some right here already, but these are uh, hinges for stamp collectors. So this is what you would use, um to attach your stamps, your postage stamps, uh, into your book. And they're gummed, so I'm, I'm, these are really old, so I don't know if I want to trust the, the adhesive on them. But um, they're really cool because they kind of look like old scotch tape. When you when you stick them on, right? And you can hardly really even see, whoops, dang it, I just moved that. Well, that's okay, I can add another one. Um, I mean, that's all right, it just looks like a bunch of little pieces of tape. Um, yeah, isn't that cool? I love it. So you can kind of overlap them and uh, get that kind of old scotch tape look. See? It's kind of cool. Anyways, I wanted to show you guys that. Um, doo -doo -doo. Let's add something. I want to add something a little bit darker in here. Let's break this one out. Another one of the William Morris designs. Let's see. I think this glue stick is about dead. So I save all my spent um, glue sticks and uh, sometimes when, I don't know, sometimes I'll just sit in my bed and um, glue book pages together and I use a, um, like a popsicle stick to dig that glue out of the bottom. Um, <laughs> oh, let's try this one, these flowers. Let's just add a stripe of this flower right there. There, so pretty. So just added a little tiny bit of color, uh, sort of all around on this one. Let's see. Let's do one of these. This is a uh, one on done on book paper. Let's add a little bit of something weird. So this is that old uh, credit card receipt or you know remember those old machines where you would slide the They'd put your card in the little machine and then um, imprint your card information onto this, <coughs> excuse me, onto this uh, like three, pa three, it's like three layers of paper and then you would get the middle layer or whatever. 
You guys remember those. Remember these good discussions in school efficiency in connection. Also remember. Hmm. Interesting. save these, um, you know, decorative, like, end papers from different, like, old vintage books. They're so pretty. Um, and, like, the marbled paper, too. Just use up every little, every little bit, you know. Okay. I'm going to add some of that tape or some of these little guys. I love these. I need to put them in something else. This container or this bag is kind of a pain. Actually, I happen to have an empty one, so I'm going to dump these in here. Look, there's a bunch. <laughs> and then I can use the bag for collage. <clears throat> right? Okay, let's add some washi. Um, actually, do some of this masking tape first. Okay, so this one has like, wait, is it already, oh, it is, it's already like perforated. <gasps> oh my God, that's so cool. So this is like three tapes in one. Oh my God, how cool is that? See, I was talking about this on my haul video you see yep oh my gosh I love this tape <laughs> that is so cool I did not even realize that it was like that I thought I would have to cut it but I don't wow I love that they should make those more often. Let's see. I want, okay, I want to put a little bit up here. Yeah, they need to do that more often. That is way cool. Huh. So, yeah, see, it's like three tapes on one roll, and it's just lightly like split or something. Huh. Really cool. Did I mention that that is really cool? Um. So I think that's enough on this one. You know, like, I'm just trying to imagine, like, if I'm cutting this into, like, a small tag. Um. I just want to get little elements from the different, you know, the different things that I'm adding. Just want little pieces here and there. So this is another 
end paper. I think I'm going to ink this one. So it's like, oh, 3.30 in the morning here right now, um, but I had gone to bed at like, <clears throat> I had gone to bed at like 11 o'clock this yesterday morning, so my um, sleep schedule, <laughs> my sleep schedule is a little screwed up right now. As, as usual, like it's kind of always screwed up. So this is an old envelope. Just gonna glue it down somewhere on here. That's okay. <laughs> Just kind of doing like our, um, I don't know. This isn't really the base coat. The base coat would have been that first... First layer. Um, yeah, this paper is really similar to that, um, that straw paper. So I don't know what it's made out of, but it's kind of cool. Okay, this is, I like the, it's letterhead on here. Okay, and then washy washy. Let's see. Let's add some of this one. This one's like uh, travel kind of stuff. It's like tickets and airplanes and things like that. Oh no, wait. I want to do some of the birds and their eggs. Or it might just be eggs. No, it's birds and their eggs. It's so pretty. this one over here. Can you guys see? Oh, sorry about that. And then I want to add some of the, um, these little guys. Too. <laughs> I've just got the tiniest bit of glue on my finger and it's just enough pick these up. Well, it was. So 
So, if you're looking for, um, like, old scotch tape or a way to kind of mimic old scotch tape, see if you can find some of those. <coughs> They're, um, stamp hinges. Just a thought. Let me see. I'm going to put some more down here. So I can always add, you know, more of these onto the tags and stuff too, so. All right. Okay. I'm not sure what that's supposed to be holding down, but I like it on there. Um, yeah, so just a little bit of washi tape on that one. Um, so then what I kind of like to do, so I've got a bunch more of those that I'm going to be adding another layer of, you know, paper and stuff on. Okay, like these ones, these ones are kind of all at that same stage. Okay. So they need a little bit more something something or some something. Um, but these are all kind of at the same, like where they've, I've added a little bit of washi tape and maybe a little bit more kind of like decorative paper. Um, so I've got like five of those, well six of those, one smaller one. And then also some tags. Um, so some of these I might wind up cutting in half or something too. Um, but the next thing I kind of wanted to do is just, um, I sort of want to add just randomly some other small elements because I'm thinking that for the most part, I want this stuff, this project or whatever to wind up being like smaller um, tags and stuff. So, as opposed to, you know, pockets or whatever. So, this is a box or a box full of um, just images that have been fussy cut, or it's also, I also have a bunch of these uh, Tim Holtz. Uh, die cuts these botanical ones I, I'm not sure if these are new or not but I don't think I've ever had these before some of these ones and then and then there's a bunch of different like butterflies in them in the mix so I picked those up uh, a couple weeks ago I mean <clears throat> it's a different set than this set that these came from I'm sure you guys have seen these before um, you know, with those flowers. So it's a different, I think it's a new Tim Holtz, uh, you know, die cut set. So that's kind of cool. Anyway, so those are in there. And then I've got a bunch more, like I said, fussy cut images. These are all pretty much oversized images in these, um, in these folders that are in there. And these are little... These are file folders that I cut down so they're they're smaller so they'll fit in here. Um and then so there's that box. And then this box. This one has um kind of just is this is just my method of organizing. This is all like like small stuff, you know, like lots of mostly just images though. So some fussy cut stuff, some punched stuff or whatever. So um so I'm going to use some of those and then also I've got I'm running out of room here on my desk. Um these, uh, the rub-offs, or rub-ons, or rub-offs, rub-arounds. Um, I'm not gonna use the stickers, I don't think. 
But I do want to add some of these. <clears throat> so I'm just going to kind of randomly do that. Where's my little thing? Here it is. Actually, I like to use a bone folder to do this. So just kind of pick a pick a spot. Whoops. And you don't want to rub really hard with these because especially not on old book paper because if you do you wind up kind of you'll wind up lifting the paper as you're pulling the um, as you're pulling the backing off sometimes you'll wind up actually lifting the paper and then it's just kind of a mess so so you want to be kind of careful. So just want to maybe have some just small little elements that will sort of, whoops, oops, no big deal, that will kind of just wind up wherever they wind up, you know, and they can even be going different directions and stuff, I don't care. Just kind of give it a little burnish when you're done. I really like that fern. I'm going to press a bunch of ferns this year, I decided. As soon as it starts growing, I'm going to start... Uh, my mom has a whole bunch of ferns out there, so as soon as they start growing, I'm going to start pressing them. And then there's some of these little flowers. My hands are a mess now. So like I said, you know, these are going to get cut into smaller pieces, so... I just kind of want these little images to sort of pop out from from wherever, you know. Um, and then I'm going to glue on a couple of them too. So these are just some little fussy cut flowers. I'm seriously running out of room. Okay, and then this one, I already have these flowers from uh, washi tape on there and this little fern image. Um, I'm just going to add a couple more little flower elements. So... tulip. And you could add like words or, you know, other kinds of stickers or whatever. Like here's a little bee.
I like to have options, you know? So that's why I have all these, like, baskets and uh, containers full of all kinds of weird things. It's an egg. Alright. So, yeah, so this is obviously, like, I don't know. I wouldn't be happy with this as a finished piece the way it is, you know, but I'm trying to imagine it being sectioned off. So, um, I think it's going to work. So let's do this one. Um, <coughs> some of these mushrooms are too big. add a mushroom. You know what? This paper is kind of slick um, that I cut these out of, the book that I cut these out of. So I'm going to use a different glue. This is that uh, Scotch permanent glue. Um, it's a little bit more, mm, a little bit better glue, I'm going to say than that uh, Elmer's. I just trust it. I trust it a lot more. Let's see. Could do one of these um, die cuts. You know, I don't know, it's weird with die cuts, like, they're so thick that, um, sometimes I don't really like to use them if, if it's on something like this where I'm going to be cutting it into pieces, but I think I can work with it. They're not too thick. Sometimes those those die cuts are really, really heavy. Um, okay, something else. Need something around here. How about just like a big old flower? And then when this one gets cut apart, we'll just get part of the flower. So I'll just finish this one and then I will, um, then I'll cut one up, kind of give you an idea of, you know, what, what I do when I'm, when I do that. So add some smaller little pieces here and there. This is just like a little seed pod shaped thing. Grab another egg. This is, yeah, that'll work. Let's see if I can find a bird. All right, here's a bird. Let's stick a bird on it. These are, this is a sticker from a, an old flow book. Um, let's do some rub-ons on here. Let's add one of these little flower fairies. Mm 
<laughs> there we go. Let's do another one, this little ivy one here. They're so cute. Oh no, I think I did this one upside down. Oh well. <laughs> so the text in the background is all upside down. Oh well. No matter. Yeah, okay. I think I got enough on this one. For sure. Um, wait. Let's add some more stuff on this one, too. Hold on. Hold the phone. This one already has washi tape, so I don't need to add more of that. Um, okay, let's see. What other... Some other leaves. Oh, there's some bigger ones. Let's see. Oh my gosh, I have glue all over me. I want to get that one from the center. Let's see if I can do it. Yeah, you really don't want to press, you don't really need to burnish this super hard. Like, it has adhesive on it, so, um, whoops, yeah, see? Messed it up. All right, there we go. There. So it almost looks like a like a stamped image, kind of. Let's do one of these little... I love these little, just like black, um, little botanical, just like drawings. Let's see. So I think I'm going to use some of these little, um, these stickers that I got, but um, I'm going to wait until, until I cut them up. I really like this one. No, this one has enough going on already. 
Okay. So let me just straighten this up really quick. And then uh, get my paper trimmer and I love these boxes that I got at uh, Target. <clears throat> They're two dollars for this size with the lid and they're cool like the lids snap on and everything two bucks and then they have like a little deeper one and then a big deeper one um that were three dollars and then four dollars and the lid fits on um whoops i should have put that in the container but oh well um, anyways, yeah, they're pretty cool at Target. Because I've been on a organizing um, rampage lately. So, anyways. Coffee. Okay, so these are all uh, scraps. Our lives are full of scraps. Right? It's another envelope I was using. So, at the end of the day, um, I don't save every tiny little scrap of paper. I honestly don't. Uh, I used to. But, you know, I'm just not doing it anymore. Okay. So, just kind of give it an eyeball, like, um, not measuring. <laughs> Trying to make sure it's straight, but, um, it's kind of where things wind up, you know what I mean? Um, I don't. Mm, yeah. I really want to do... I saw somebody did some tags um, in their journal and they were like, who was that? I wish I could remember stuff sometimes. It might have been Wendy. I'm not sure. Um, but somebody had done these like really skinny little pockets on their journal page. Maybe it was Jibbed. I don't remember. Anyways, uh, but I want to do that. It looked really cool. And they, so they, what did I just do? Oh my God. I just cut through that, um, <laughs> I probably just ruined my cutter. I just cut through that eyelet right there. Good job, Jessica. Anyway, so I want to do that. It looked really cool. Just tall, skinny tags. So yeah, so these are going to wind up being smaller tags and that's what I wanted. So you wind up with a pretty good little little stack pretty quick, right? And then you know you can trim them and um add some kind of topper or whatever. So this one, cutting part of that flower, and then this one, part of the mushroom. See how that works out? It's 
kind of fun. And then it's just, it's just, you know, it's random. And then you can come back on these and add even more if you want, you know. You could add an, another little element like a postage stamp or um, a stamped image, a little piece of fabric or lace, you know, um, that sort of thing, actually. It doesn't look too bad like that. Um, that was the one that I did upside down. So, <gasps> oh my God, I almost did it again. Pay attention to where those little eyelets are, Jessica. And one more. So these are obviously I'm going to trim them up around the edges and stuff too. So And stitch around them too. This one would be kind of cool as like a tall skinny tag. Yeah. Don't throw that away. I'm just going to go ahead and trim these while I'm while I have the cutter out and then uh, I can because this one I'm pretty happy with the way it is and then I can individually add like images to it if I want to and I think I'm going to make this one into my tall skinny tags. I'm just eyeballing these. I'm not measuring them or anything. I'm just, you know, don't need to. Okay, and then this one, I think I'm going to do... I'm going to... Try not to cut through that eyelid again. Actually, yeah. Yeah, see like these ones I can add some more I can add some more stuff individually to those. Okay. <laughs> so yeah, look, there's tons of them now. That didn't really take too much work, right? Um let me find a smaller pair of scissors. So then I'll just cut some cut some corners on them. And then, you know, as I'm doing this, like, that's when I'll decide if, um, 
if they need any more, you know, embellishment or whatever. Um, and then they go into a different stack. So, but, um, <laughs> I never get these even and I don't really care, but yeah. So if I'm happy with the, um, if I'm happy with it the way it is, then it'll just go in one pile. And then if I feel like it needs something else, then, um, it goes in a, in a different pile. So like this one, I'll probably add something else to it, you know, so it'll go over here and then I'm not going to, I'm not going to trim the corners on all of these. <laughs> this is funny. It's got the little eyelid in the corner. Uh, I'm not going to do that on all of them, but, um, yeah. And then I'll trim this as I go. So this one, I'm probably going to add another, like a picture of a bird or a flower or, or something, you know, so that'll go in that pile. And then these will all get stitched on the sewing machine. I'll probably go around the border at least one time. And then uh, add, I'll punch a hole, add a reinforcement uh, sticker front and back, probably round the corners, and then uh, stitch them, and then ink them, and then add some kind of um, either fabric or lace or something like that on them. So, yeah. Anyways, okay, so we did it. Now, let's see if I can join <laughs> these videos together. If not, I'll be uploading two videos. Anyway, so, yeah, that's kind of my process, I guess, in doing, um, you know, multiple tags from, um, like a, you know, larger collage, okay, and using my new, uh, washi tapes from Washi Wednesday, so, um, I'll put the link in the description again on this video or videos, <laughs> um, depending. And then, um, I have a feeling it's going to wind up being two videos, but whatever. Um, yeah, so you guys can go check out Washi Wednesday and then, uh, let me know what you guys think. And, you know, if this is something that you do or that you would like to do, or you want to try it now, let me know. I think, um, you know, it's nice to share. So anyways, uh, I love you guys, and I will talk to you very soon. Okay, bye for now. <laughs>